What's up guys, welcome back. I'm back here at Henrik Honda of Bradenton, Florida with this 2024 Honda Civic. This is the hatchback sport touring, which is the highest trim level available. Of course, not including the performance type R. This is the most expensive one. So today I'm gonna to take you on a complete tour of this vehicle. We're gonna check it out as far as the interior, exterior, the design, engine, and the test drive. So if you like watching videos like this, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel, hit that subscribe button, give me the like, and turn on that bell notification ring bell. Now let's get back to this. It's hard to believe that the first Civic was introduced in 1972, which is over 40 years ago. And this has been one of the best selling model for Honda lineup throughout the years. Now, of course, it was designed for the city. It was designed to move swiftly through the city traffic, easy to find parking, great on gas, and won't break your budget. And that definitely is still the model for Honda. Now, they went a long way from the base Civic. They went a long way in pricing as well. And we're gonna talk about all of that during this review but we're going to start with the front end and as far as the design overall first of all if you like the color because this is hard to miss they call it the boost blue and yes it is an optional color but it pops so if you want to be seen definitely consider one of this i like the hood it's nice and long it's got two creases right on top and it kind of extends into this front nose of this vehicle you also have the fully led lights daytime running lights turn signals and the set of fog lights down here at the bottom you have this matte black grill with a big honda logo and again this matte black bottom portion of here including this front splitter right here at the bottom now this is not the performance one but it does have the more powerful engine than the basic civic and if you want to find out what it is well let's pop the hood and find out powering up this brand new civic is a 1.5 liter direct injection turbocharged four cylinder engine 180 horsepower 177 foot pounds of torque made it to either a cvt or a six-speed manual transmission i do have that better transmission option here so we're going to check that out at the end of this video it's there important to mention that this is the more more powerful engine choice for the main line Civic. Now, of course, the LX and the Sport get the two liter naturally aspirated engine producing 158 horsepower. And then we have the Civic SI with 200 horsepower out of a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. And we can't forget about the Civic Type R. And that is a two liter turbocharged and intercooled VTEC engine giving us 315 horsepower. So depending on your budget and the purpose of the vehicle, Honda definitely gives you choices. Now also it gives you two different body styles for 2024 model year. This one being the hatchback kind of looks more like a fastback if you ask me, not this traditional hatchback that we've gotten used to over the years from Honda. Uh, but this is the more practical, would be my choice if I was looking for a vehicle like this. We'll get to the practicality and then just a little bit and as far as the size, I mean, it grew in size definitely. It is 179 inches long. It's 71 inches wide and 56 inches tall. So definitely a good size vehicle. This is probably the size of the uh, previous generations of the early Accords. Now, the Civic sport touring hatchback gives you the 18 inch wheels i like the design of it piano black right here on the inside of the spokes and right on top of the spokes you have this slightly different color like the gunpowder metal you also have the top of the mirrors the same color as the rest of the vehicle with the turn signal and the blind spot monitoring indicator inside of it you have the chrome trim piece on top of the windows everything else is blacked out and you also have this side skirt down at the bottom that's blacked out smart entry system as long as you have the key somewhere on you can lock and unlock at this vehicle the key is actually inside of the vehicle so i can't demonstrate it for you and we have the regular size sunroof now you see the sloping roof line we're going to get in the back i'll show you the design and the practicality of it 
Some of you guys asked me to demonstrate how the lights actually look without just talking about them. So I'm out here on the inside of this vehicle. We're gonna turn them on. So you have the LED lights as far as the tail lights, and you have the incandescent turn signals. And as far as the reverse lights, you also have the incandescent light bulb right there. And if you wanna see where the third brake light is, there you go. And of course, in addition to it, we have the reflector lights down here at the bottom. And as far as the design, I like the sloping roof line, the shark fin antenna. You have your wiper in the back. You also have your washer system for the back. Kind of a built-in spoiler to the rear hatch. Honda logo Civic Sport Touring on the other side. You have this diffuser style bottom portion of the bumper, making it look sportier. And you have the dual exhaust. Now, the hatch is not power, but it's really easy to open. So let's check out how much room we have. And this is the huge difference between the sedan and the hatchback. Of course, on the hatchback, you have a lot more room in here with almost 35 cubic feet of room. It's definitely more practical right here. This particular one has some floor mats and some uh, all season mats right there. But I'm going to lift up this board at the bottom to show you that it does have the spare tire jack and the toes to remove the tire with. And if you don't want people to peek in, you also have this sliding cargo cover that you can secure as such, not to have people peeking inside and seeing what you have in there. If that wasn't enough cargo space for you, you have the 60-40 split on the seats. Really easy to do, just unlock it and let them go. And that's gonna give you this much cargo space. The only other option that I didn't tell you about is uh, this illumination for the cargo area. And now let's move on to see what the passengers have. As I always say, manage your expectations. So keep in mind that this is a compact vehicle. It's fairly easy to get in. The door opens nice and wide. Once I get in, I have about one and a half inches above my head. I'm almost six feet tall. And I also not touching the back of the front seat, which is adjusted to my regular driving position because of the way that the seats are designed. Plenty of shoulder room as well. The third passenger might have a little bit of a, a inconvenience because of the hump in the middle. With this being the top of the line trim, you have some luxury touches that includes the leather wrap armrest. You also have this co-locking trim. Let me give you a close-up of it. Of course, the window control and the regular door handle, some piano black trim, and a little bit of storage. You have two speakers here in the back part of that Bose stereo. Now let's take a look on the interior. Now the seats are leather wrapped. Okay, nothing too special as far as the contouring of the seats, but you have this armrest that pops open right here in the middle. And when I mentioned the third passenger might have a little bit of issue with their foot room right here, that's because of this hump in the middle. No vents inside of the back console, but you do have the two USB type A ports and the passenger seat has some storage underneath. Let me just make sure that there's no vents underneath the seats. Nope, don't see anything. Well, let's move on to the front. And before I get inside, let's listen to the sound of the closing door, which is not bad. I mean, the door is not super heavy. It's a smaller vehicle. The front panel designed basically just as the rear one, the same features. Plus you have the window mirror lock controls, a bit more storage in the front. And moving inside of the driver's area, you see the eight-way power adjustments on the driver's seat and the passenger seat has the four-way power adjustment on this model. The seats are a little bit more contoured, but not very aggressive. And then on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you have the few buttons down here at the bottom. That's parking sensors, traction control, and your safety features, as well as you have your dimmer for the instrument cluster, and the steering wheel is tilt and telescoping. Check it out, guys, just in case you weren't paying attention. We do have the three pedals here, and that's because this is the six-speed manual transmission, which I'm really excited to take for a spin at the end of this video. But let's check out this interior. Overall, I really like it. I think the Honda nailed it with the redesign of this model. Of course, it's a few years old, and there's really not many changes from 2022. I still like this Honeycomb mesh that's inside of here and of course the vents are on the sides and in the middle but kind of connecting it nice this is a whole soft touch material so you also have the bose speakers uh, we have 12 speakers here with this uh, premium bose stereo we have the nine inch infotainment system and then the 10 inch digital display in the back here the steering wheel nicely covered with leather you have some contrast stitching and a bunch of buttons so on the right hand side you have the controls for the 
cruise control adaptive cruise control lane keep assist honda logo in the middle and then on the left hand side you have the seek track as far as the media volume and then we can adjust to see what's going on inside of the instrument cluster and, and the voice control there's no pedal shifters of course because it's a manual transmission and instrument cluster you have the 10 inch instrument cluster all digital right here so on the right hand side let me get out from this customized display option and here is how it looks so as you can see on the right hand side you have the speedometer and then inside of it you have the range so basically your trip meter and you can select it from trip a trip b and we can customize it. i'll show you that in a moment on the left hand side you have a tachometer and on the inside right now you have uh, the media that's uh, what's playing right now and on the far sides on the right hand side you have the fuel gauge and the temperature on the left hand side 79 degrees outside feels definitely warmer than that and the digital speed display now if you want to customize this let's uh, see customize display so we can check it and see what's available so first of all we can see hide show audio and clock okay we can turn it on or off this is on basically what's inside of here but if you want to do some more customization you can select what's inside of here you have the back phone fm am sirius xm usb bluetooth apps and then of course back to customize display uh, so that's what's going on in the instrument cluster on the right hand side we can see navigation uh, not on digital route right now drive safely that's your driver attention level and then you have your seat belt warning say hey the driver not wearing seat belt so i'm telling on you maintenance safety support and you can of course have the customized display again kind of similar thing to what's going on on the left hand side but you can also customize the gauges you have the round bar round minimal gauges will hide when cruise is active and we can also have the bar minimal i'm not sure what the point of it is i actually like the regular round gauges so we're going to leave it as this and this is basically your instrument cluster we're going to move on to the nine inch screen that we have right here in the middle there's a film on it so if you're not seeing it super clearly that's probably because of that we're going to dismiss this message right now this is what's playing but let's hit the home screen and this is your typical honda infotainment system so we have all apps navigation and let's see it comes standard with the navigation system on the highest trim level which i really like i know toyota likes to sell you the subscription uh, Honda gives you the navigation as a standard equipment on the higher trim level. Of course, if you prefer to use Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it is wireless connection for both of these features. We go back to the home menu, phone, FM, AM, Bluetooth, audio, smartphone connections. That's where you connect your phone. And then you have the trip computer, Sirius XM. You have the general settings, vehicle settings you know Honda link smart focus system updates let's go to the general settings here's your smartphone connection display sound etc go back here's the nice back button this is your savior and home button the same thing in case you get lost hit one of those buttons could get you back out of here your vehicle settings okay TPMS calibration driver assist setup it's kind of your kind of like an owner's manual and it tells you what you can do door unlock mode right now it's set to unlock driver door only you can set it to unlock all doors now this is of course going for the uh, remote control which is by the way this key fob right here the new key fob for honda lock unlock you have the trunk opener and you have the hold for panic button kind of wish that on the higher trim levels where of course on the uh manual transmission wouldn't be really possible but on the automatic would be the remote starter right so we can get back out of here and you can see several other options that are available in here go back and you can select whatever you need help with maintenance info meter setup door window setup lighting setup and smart shortcuts connect the phone to see your call suggestions okay we're not going to do that but your vehicle provides quick access to call music navigation when applied suggestions tailored to you so it learns i guess over time as 
you drive the vehicle. So we're gonna go back out here. You have the volume and power knob, seek and track feature. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's a nine inch display. I know some of the competitors have slightly bigger options. This is not bad for the size of the vehicle. It really doesn't bother me. Then of course, down here, you have the hazard lights and these are your vans, which can nicely move. You have the dual zone climate control, which is a big plus and for many people. And then you have the heated seats, then the rest of the shortcuts for at the bottom right here. Then you have the two USB ports. You have the 12 volt power outlet, wireless charger. And of course we have the manual shifter right here with six gears plus reverse. And then the only mode that you have is the econ mode. Really, you can turn off that engine start stop button, electronic parking brake, brake hold, cup holders, tiny bit of storage down here. And then if you look up on top, you have your mirror with the home link system. Here's your sunroof control. You have the tilt and slide, manual sunshade. You also have your sunglasses holder controls for the lights on the inside led lights and then in the visor itself you also have the illuminated mirror so this is the interior of this brand new civic talk about pricing and take it for a spin so when you look at the Honda's website, uh, definitely give you choices because the Civic is available as a sedan or as a hatchback. And then we have different categories for the Civic SI and the Civic Type R. So uh, we're going to focus on the Civic hatchback and we have several different trims starting at the LX 24950 then Sport at 26350 both of these available with the less powerful engine the EXL 28650 and the Sport Touring at 31450. Now, as far as the gas mileage, that's interesting because this is a stick shift. Generally, stick shift gives you a little bit better gas mileage, but not in the case of the Civic. This one gives you 28 in the city and 37 on the expressway. 31 is the combined number. If you opt in for the CVT transmission, you're going to have 30, 38 for the combined number of uh, 33. So the CVT transmission technically gives you a better gas mileage. I still think I would rather have the fun of this versus the CVT transmission. Let's take it for a quick spin and see how it drives. Starting, of course, with the turning radius. We're going to make a circle here in the middle of the slot. And no surprise here, this vehicle turns on the dime. Now let's take it on the road. Overall, it's a good feel to it i mean you, you get in and you can just drive right away there's certain vehicles that you get in and you have to make 60 different adjustments before you feel comfortable with it not with the civic maybe because i'm so used to it but i feel that this vehicle is definitely you know an easy to get used to an easy to drive one uh, kind of short shift which is really nice sporty even though this is not a a sports vehicle like you'll find on the uh, Civic Si or Type R. So I've tested the Civic Si, I've tested the regular Civic before, this is the first one with the manual transmission. I'm digging it, it's easy to operate, nice short shifts. It is a sportier feel in a non-sporty car. Now the Civic Si was fun, but that's available in the sedan only, so if you wanted the performance in the uh, hatchback, you're not getting it out of the um, SI. So Honda gives you options, but it also limits you as far as which body style goes to which trip. I guess there must be a, a reason for their madness, but let's focus on this vehicle. Um, I like this big wind, windshield, you know, it definitely gives you tons of visibility. The mirrors are decent size. The mirror right here, when adjusted, you know, it, it definitely gives you a good look of the road behind you. So as long as nobody's sitting in that middle seat, you're okay. And of course you have this suite of safety features that are gonna further help you be safe on the road. Now hopefully we're gonna get uh, an opportunity here in the side street to check out the acceleration of this vehicle. It is brand new, so I definitely don't wanna beat on it. Uh, but let's see from the stop, see how it goes. Been a little rusty driving a stick shift, but no issues here. Getting it up to about 45, 
50 miles an hour with of course respecting the vehicle it's not bad i mean it definitely is not a speed racer but it's enough to merge you in traffic and have fun with it for the regular everyday driving like i mentioned you know you do have two more powerful options of course the civic si with 200 horsepower and the civic type r with 315 now this vehicle being thirty-three thousand dollars, it's a slightly more expensive than the civic si but it's a lot less expensive than the civic type r so the si is at about thirty thousand dollars give or take so that's about you know twenty five three thousand dollars more uh, or less than this one and then the civic type r is at about forty four thousand dollars so now you're looking at about eleven thousand dollars more depending on what your budget allows and what you're looking for the vehicle for this is great this is perfect for everyday driving and honda is also known for the quality and reliability of course but every time that i post a video there's going to be somebody that's had some bad luck with the vehicle and i appreciate you posting this just do it in a civilized manner you know don't be bashing the brand just because maybe you've gotten one bad apple uh, and there's a lot of people that are chiming in and said no i've had one and i've had great luck and it doesn't matter the brand it doesn't matter the model whether it's a you know sixteen thousand dollars kia rio or two hundred thousand dollars mercedes there's going to be people, people that have good and bad luck with those vehicles so i invite those comments guys and and thank you for for making Making those it's gonna uh, make it easier for somebody maybe that's uh, watching the video kind of read through that and, and make sure that they're making the right choice and I thank you very much for watching I hope this video was helpful I hope you liked it and if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel give me the like and turn on that bell notification ring bell so you won't miss any of the content that's coming out I'll see you in my next video cheers